Welcome to UMake. My name is Nico, and in this video, I want to walk you through the basic building blocks that make up the UMake interface. When you first log into UMake, you'll notice a screen that looks like this. We call this the Discover screen. On the Discover screen, you'll see the latest news, you'll see creations made by other UMakers, and you'll see the ability to sort content and creations with these categories at the top. You can even search for other people or by tags. Down below, you'll see a bar with five different options. The community is where you land on and is marked by the little explorer icon. If you follow other users, you simply tap on the heart button. I'm a new user, so I haven't, I haven't followed anyone. I'm gonna tap that and I can come here and follow a few new users. If I go back, I can see their creations that they have submitted. Going back to the community, I can also tap on a creation here and I can like this creation and even leave a comment. Next, to see your creations, simply tap on the little icon down below here that looks like an avatar. This is where you'll find your work. In my account, you can see I have many projects that I've already worked on, and this is where you'll find all of your work. The icon next to it, or the little bell, is your notification center. If you follow other users, or if you have left comments on projects, this is where you'll get notifications. Since I just started following people, I don't have any notifications just yet. Lastly, if I want to create a new project, I'm gonna tap on the plus button. This is how you create a new project and enter into the editor. When I tap here, I have the ability to use any one of these studio templates, or I can tap blank. This brings me into the UMake editor. And the UMake editor is where you can begin to create all of your work. Simply sketch a line to get started. I'll cover this and a lot more in the other tutorials, but I just wanted to walk you through the basic building blocks. To get out of the editor at any time, simply tap the arrow in the top of the interface to go back. I now have a new creation in my files, and I can go back and see what's new within the community. I hope this has helped you get familiar with the basic blocks of the user interface within UMake.